everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today to do my birthday book haul slash birthday gift haul kind of thing. I thought this would actually be really fun since like a lot of the presents are very bookish. I, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys. So the first part of this video is going to be just the books and like bookish things that I got for my birthday. That way for all you bookish people that really don't care about all the rest of the stuff, it's right here in the beginning for you so you can just stop watching whenever you lose interest, I guess. But I will have a whole bunch of other stuff at the end just to show you kind of like what I got for my birthday, what I'm really grateful for. I had an amazing birthday this year it was my 23rd wild I actually was in Disneyland with my mom which I vlogged uh, I'll link that up here I had an amazing time it was a really great birthday thank you all for making me feel so special and yeah I'm going to just jump in so obviously the first part of this video is going to be the books the first book that I have to show you is gonna be strange grace by Tessa Grattan this is a book that I've actually been so intrigued by ever since common Spence read it last year around like Halloween time and it really reminded me of the premise of the girl who drank the moon but also of, like a few other books there was a few books that had very similar children get left in the forest and an evil witch situation Situation is happening and this was actually from my really good friend on here Chan so thank you so much Chan I'm gonna leave everyone who like gifted me anything if I know their channels I'm gonna be linking them down below definitely check them out they're all wonderful people so strange grace let's just read you the little blurb it says long ago a village made a bargain with the devil to ensure their prosperity when the slaughter moon rises the village must sacrifice a young man to the depths of the devil's forest it really caught my interest I think that it's going to be amazing I love what Chan wrote about it she goes witchy fall and Polly hell yeah happy b-day oh my gosh this next one I'm so hyped about and Perina actually gifted me the Shades of Magic graphic novel The Steel Prince this is the first graphic novel in the series of prequels that V Schwab is doing for the Darker Shade of Magic series I'm so excited I don't know much about these I only know that they're prequels but thank you so much to Perina I've really been so into graphic novels so when I saw that V Schwab was doing these I definitely wanted to jump on the bandwagon and read them myself she said hope you love this comic I know I did and hope you have a wonderful day filled with joy and love Thanks, Prina. So yeah, I'm gonna be linking her channel as well down below. She's just so lovely and so sweet, so definitely check her out. Next up is going to be Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is actually from one of you guys, Emily B. So thank you so, so much. I've actually been so excited about Skyward. I love Brandon Sanderson. Like for the most part, I read Mistborn, the first two books, I still need to read the third. And when I knew that he was making a young adult sci-fi, I was just instantly intrigued. So I'm really excited about it. Let's read you kind of the Summary. Spence's world has been under attack for decades. Now pilots are the heroes of what's left of the human race and becoming one has always been Spence's dream. Oh yeah. So this is actually about a girl who wants to become a pilot but her father was disgraceful in some way towards... Let's just read it to you because I know what it's about but now I can't explain it. Spence's world has been under attack for decades. Now pilots are the heroes of what's left of the human race and becoming one has always been Spence's dream. Since she was a little girl she has imagined soaring skyward and proving her bravery but her fate is intertwined with her father's. A pilot who himself, who was killed years ago when he abruptly deserted his team, leaving Spensa, the daughter of a coward. Her chances of attending fight school, fight school, <laughs> her chances of attending flight school slim to none. No one will let Spensa forget what her father did, yet fate works in mysterious ways. Flight school might be a long shot, but she's determined to fly, and an accidental discovery in a long forgotten cavern might just provide her a way to claim the stars. I just can't wait to read this. I feel like it's going to be a page turner, and I'm so excited. So thank you, Emily. Next up, I got City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This is V.E. Schwab's middle grade series. This book follows Cass, who is a little girl who almost drowned. Well, she did drown, and ever since that near-death experience, she is able to actually see ghosts, which is a very strange situation since her family has a TV show where they show off the world's most haunted places. And when they head off to Edinburgh, Scotland, she meets someone who is similar to her, and she realizes that there's still so much to learn about about this veil and the ghosts that live behind it and her gift. So I'm really excited about this. Obviously this got so so much hype last year when it first came out and I just never got my hands on it but it's been on my wish list for forever so thank you so much to Emily. I don't know if it's the same Emily because that's Emily B and this girl's initials are Emily B H so 
Either way, thank you so, so much. I'm really, really excited to pick this up. I feel like it's going to be so quick, and I think that this is going to be the perfect read for October. This one, I literally cry. I cry when I see it because it is so beautiful, and thank you to Noria. And that is going to be The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kong. This is the second book in the Poppy War series. You guys know that I've been reading Poppy War for, like, ever, but it doesn't mean that I love it any less. It's actually really, really, really high up there in the books that I've been reading this year, and I've just been slowly falling in love with it, and Noria is one of the people that has really pushed me to want to re finish it as fast as possible because she loves it, and I trust her judgment so, so much. She is an absolute sweetheart, another person that I'm going to leave their channel linked down below. I absolutely adore her. She makes such interesting content, and she has the best reviews, and she absolutely adores The Poppy War, so I can't wait to read this, and I can't believe that she got it from me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. She is the sweetest, and I love her so, so much. I'm not really going to talk about this. I feel like I've talked about The Poppy War so many times that if you go to back to any of my videos, you're going to be able to see a summary of it, and <laughs> that's really what I would be doing with The Dragon Republic, so check one of those out. But just know, it's amazing. It's badass. If you can handle it, you should read it. <laughs> it was so funny, too, because in her note, she goes, I'm certain the moment that you saw this, you knew exactly who sent it to you, and yes, I did. I knew exactly who had sent it to me. I looked at it and I was like, oh my god, she did not. She did. <laughs> this one is another one that I am just incredibly excited about. I've had my eye on this ever since the person that gifted me this first started talking about this, and it's going to be Peace and Turmoil, The Dark Shores by Elliot Brooks. Karina from Bookish Babbles, one of my really close friends on here, has been raving about this ever since before it came out. She was actually one of the people that was promoting the book before it was released. She thinks that I'm going to love it, and I've had my eye on it ever since she first started talking about it, because look at how stunning this cover is. Honestly, the cover's what drew me in. Sometimes that happens. It happens that way. But I also know that if Karina loved it as much as she did, that it's going to be an insanely quality book. So let's read the summary together. Must the world always be in a state of mourning. 30 years of peace have graced the lands of Abraham. 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 Okay. The waning bloodshed from the War of Fire has ended, and the new generations have only the horrid tales of their forefathers to remind them of their country's past. Poverty no longer prevails, the sights and palms of men have grown soft, yet four nations dictate more power than they know. Civil unrest stirs among the first, the heir to the throne of Mysidia, and the guardian to its dagger, questioned by a growing rebellion. To its south lies a country of scholars, the mighty nation of Zenith. Liberators of the War of Fire and Guardians of the Amulet over the dividing walls. Hi, Luna. Over the dividing wall lives the newly freed Sadie, a kingdom with an assassin for a prince and an insurgence at its heels. The fourth is the ancient realm of Eve, the land across the sea, gifted and cursed with the sight as it shows them what's to come. Only one knows the fate of the world, but all will be pawns in its reckoning. I feel like this whole time, even though I've been really interested in it and wanted to pick it up, I've actually never really read the summary. It sounds very political in nature. I'm super intrigued by the place that has an assassin as its prince. Like, I, I think this is gonna be something that I'm going to love. Ooh, it's one of those soft touch covers, guys. It feels so good in my hands. Thank you, thank you, thank you! And the last book that I received for my birthday, and I put it in quotation marks because you're about to see, is actually the illustrated edition of Goblet of Fire. My boyfriend was super sweet, and he actually got me Prisoner of Azkaban with a little IOU note, because he was like, I couldn't find Goblet of Fire anywhere, and I'm like, that's because it's not out yet. <laughs> so he returned that one, and he's going to be getting me Goblet of Fire once it comes out, which I'm so excited about, because obviously these illustrated editions mean so much to me. They're so gorgeous. There's something that I'm definitely going to want to read after I finish my second reread of the Harry Potter series. I only read the first book so far, but Chamber of Secrets is fast and coming. I know I will. So thank you to my boyfriend. The last gift that I got from one of you guys is going to be these jelly roll pens in white. You have no idea how much you saved me because I wanted these so badly. I actually had started putting just bullet journaling supplies in my bookish wish list just for fun, just for me to keep everything in order, and I didn't realize that everyone would be able to see it. I mean, like, I should have realized, but I didn't, I wasn't thinking of that when I was putting it in. So when I got these in the mail, I was super, super hyped. And it's actually from Rachel A. She actually has this channel of her, oh, that's so sweet. So she says that I actually inspired her to start a channel of her own, Rachel Reads and Sings. So I'll be sure to link that down below. Thank you so much, lovely. I cannot wait to use these in my bullet journal. It is the three different sizes of jelly roll pens. It's like 05, 08, and 10. So I can't wait. This is just the white version, but that is exactly what I needed. As far as bookish goes, we do have something that I bought myself because 
I love to gift myself things on my birthday. I won't hurt myself, guys. I know I'm cutting towards myself, but I'm a big girl now, so I can do it. All right. So it is from Shelf Love. It isn't the box. They just send their stuff in this box. I bought a few things from their past box items shop. The thing that ignited me to get all this was actually this beautiful canvas print. It is the badass ladies of all of Sarah J Mass's books. So we have the A Court of Thorns and Roses ladies on this side and we have our Throne of Glass babes on this side and I just think it's so lovely and it's honestly what made me want to get any of this stuff and then I bought a whole bunch of other stuff because who is surprised? Not me. So I'm really excited to hang this up eventually. Maybe frame it because I don't know if I want it to just stay in the canvas. Feels really nice though. The next thing that I got was actually this sticker that says, once upon a time an angel and a devil fell in love, it did not end well. This is actually a daughter of smoke and bone quote. I love this, it's a little Hamza, but it's not really a Hamza. You find out more if like you read the book. It is a Hamza, but it's not a Hamza, you know what I mean? And then I got this, <laughs> it might be my favorite thing in here right now, but it is this beautiful Mia Corvair woodmark. And I believe that the artist must have been monolime art because it's very similar to her art style. And obviously that's Mia Corvair from the Nevernight Chronicles. Dark Dawn is out and I haven't read it yet. I don't know who I am. This is actually another one of the reasons that I even started this whole purchase process. I saw these unboxed and I knew instantly that I wanted to get them for myself. These beautiful, beautiful shadow and bone pillowcases. So first there's this one that says, you might make me a monster. And the other one says the iconic quote, fine, make me your villain. <laughs> so, isn't that stunning? I wish I had a wide enough angle to show you guys how they look like side by side, but I mean, you can tell it. Like the orange and the blue, ugh, so freaking pretty. I'm really excited about that. And the last thing that's in this box is a pin. I saw it and I needed it, so. And it is a Strange the Dreamer pin. And the little cardboard itself says, dream up something wild and improbable, but it is the moth. All right, and now for some stuff that my boyfriend gave me that is still pretty bookish. So I'm kind of trying to go from like most bookish to least bookish right now. So <laughs> let's keep going. So the first thing that he got me because he hates when I turn on the light in his car when I want to read, and that is going to be this. It's actually a book light. You hook it onto your book and then you turn on the light. And it's by the brand With It Duo. So let's kind of just open this to see how it works. So it has like a little hinge at the top, right? I'm wrong. Did I break it? No, I didn't break it. Maybe it came that way. Oh my gosh, I don't know. How oh, there we go. <laughs> it was broken. Oh nay. Oh nay. It's okay. So it has this little like clamp at the bottom. Oh, it's a really stiff clamp. Or maybe like there's an unlock. Oh, oh, cool. So there's a clamp at the bottom and then you clip it to your book and then you turn on your light with this little button and then you shine your light on it. So that's really cool. I'm glad that he got it for me. It's a very thoughtful gift because he hates when I turn on the light in his car. But obviously I'm always trying to read. So <sighs> this next thing that he got me, I'm actually stupid excited about guys. I saw this being promoted on Instagram and then I had to have it. And ironically enough, right after I showed my boyfriend the notebook, because that's how I, I told him that I wanted this. I kind of had forgotten that I told him, so it was really exciting when I opened it up. But right after I told him, I saw that Book Roast has the same one. So that's really cool. And that's going to be this amazing bullet journal. It's by the brand Compoco, and it's a dot grid journal. And it says good luck at the bottom. And it's a little black kitty with the gold foiling, which is perfect. It looks just like T'Challa. That's why I really told my boyfriend I wanted it. And then it has this beautiful like gold foiling. I'm not 100% sure what I want to use this journal for yet. I know I don't want to use it as a reading bullet journal. I might use it as a regular like day-to-day life-to-life -life journal or I might do sort of like a real journal like like events in my life and like make it like that. I'm not sure. I've been wanting to like expand my bullet journal range because I really like having it for my reading stuff but I also feel like it could organize the rest of my life as well so I'm really excited about this and I want this one to be extra special because obviously Adam got it for me. Oh my god the inside says this black cat has got your back. Good fortune follows in his wake. I love that. It's so pretty. I just need a different plan for this one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. I love it though. I love it so much. Leave me um, ideas down below for like what I should do with this bullet journal because I want to get started on it as soon as I have an idea. And what kind of goes hand in hand with this, he was like, I couldn't just leave it behind once I saw it. Is this adorable little bookmark that also says good luck on it and it's the little kitty and it's one of those that like, 
hooks onto your page. And I'm just so excited because his little head just peeks over the edge and it's just gonna be so freaking adorable. So I'm really happy that he got me this as well. See, see, isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm really excited about those. I think that they're some of my favorite things that I really got for my birthday. I mean, no, that's hard to say. I actually love everything that I got for my birthday. He got me this little insulated tumbler because he told me, he was like, I've been seeing all these like wine tumblers because he knows that I like to drink wine. And he was like, and then I found this, and I was like, why wouldn't you be able to use it for wine? And I'm like, you're totally right. Or I could even use it for coffee whenever I don't want to, and because it, it's like a thermos that keeps things cool, but obviously if it's an insulated tumbler, it's gonna keep things warm as well. So it has like a little sippy area right up here, and it's this beautiful lavender color. I love lavender, so I'm really happy about this. And yeah, I could either do that or put wine in it and take it on the go with me because, why not, I guess? <laughs> the last thing that my boyfriend got me for my birthday is actually The Sims 4 for my computer. I'm so excited about this. I was complaining for the longest time about how I'd missed out on my opportunity to download The Sims 4 for free on my computer because I thought like I would have to keep it on that computer forever and I really wanted it on a desktop if I eventually got a desktop. <laughs> I guess he heard me and he finally got me just The Sims 4 for my computer and I'm so excited. I obviously haven't opened it up yet because I still want to wait until I have a desktop because I feel like it's just gonna make my poor laptop crash because it's just gonna be too much information for it. That is kind of it for all my bookish stuff. So now we're going to be getting into like my random but fun stuff. So let's just jump in. So first of all, I got myself these little German Shepherd socks. <laughs> it has the same coloring as Bubba and I just, I, I loved them when I saw them and they're really soft. So I'm excited about it and I'm gonna wear them all the time. And then I got this shark tooth I have no explanation. I thought I would make it into a necklace and I thought I'd be really cool if I did it. And let's do my Disneyland stuff because that's probably the most exciting stuff. So first and foremost, my mom actually got me one of these really cute little backpacks. They're by the brand Loungefly. Disneyland is selling them all over now. Like they have different little prints on them depending on what kind of stuff you want, like a Disneyland one or a princess one or a stitch one or all that kind of stuff. And I saw them while we were in Disneyland and my mom was like, do you want one? Like I can get you something for your birthday and they're kind of pricey so I took forever trying to decide on which one I wanted and then I finally decided that I kind of wanted this gray Guardians of the Galaxy one because it seemed ultra wearable and very cutesy and I loved the little designs on it of the whole team so I'm really excited about this and I haven't opened it yet because I was saving it to look all pristine and stuff for this video but now that this video is done, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna use it and it's gonna be amazing. I also got myself in Disneyland a really cute mug. I almost always get mugs when I'm in Disneyland. This one specifically though is super cool because it has this little shovel that is like removable so it's used as a stirrer like for tea and things like that. And the mug itself says not a morning person, earn your rest, very punny, at the Haunted Mansion. Kind of, I think the last thing that I got in Disneyland was a ton of pins. Oh, well, I also got myself a t-shirt and it has like Darth Vader on it. And then I got another one that has like Guardians of the Galaxy on it. But those, those are in the wash actually. So I don't have them to show you. So you'll just have to take my word for it. My enamel pin obsession actually started in Disneyland. I have a ton. I always get every stitch pin I can possibly get. And then a lot of other like Disney animal pins. So I have, I have a, I have a collection. I'm not going to say it's huge or anything like that, but like I get like five pins every single time I go to Disneyland. So the first one that I got is actually for me and my boyfriend. It says his Sally and her Jack. The second one is going to be this really cute little Dalmatian one from the 101 Dalmatians. Obviously it's adorable and it's a puppy and I love dogs. Then I got this super sweet Eeyore one and I couldn't leave him behind because he says thanks for noticing me and his little tail swings. I mean it's a little stiff but that's okay. Then I got these adorable otters from the movie Finding Dory and it just says cuddle party on them and they're all just so cute. Then I got this super cool one from the Guardians of the Galaxy ride and it actually opened up and it's Groot. Sorry, that's a little shiny. I also got this really sweet one from the Aristocats and she's saying because I'm a lady, that's why. And I literally always say this quote 
or like the girls can't start fights but we sure can finish them and she's just like my favorite little sassy cat and I love her so so much. I also got this amazing stitch one that just says 2019 with him holding onto the castle. I love that he's almost always on these like yearly Disneyland pins because I always get that one and he's just so perfect. Stitch is my favorite Disney like character if you guys weren't aware. I think he's absolutely fabulous and it's my favorite movie and I can watch it on repeat. I can also do a stitch voice so that's that's fun. And lastly I got this Halloween themed BB-8 pin and he's a pumpkin and he's orange and he's just so so cute so yeah. <laughs> That's all the pins that I got. I just love pins and I love Disney's enamel pins. I just think they do such a good job and I have such a good time shopping for them whenever I'm there and finding like the perfect pins to get. You know what I mean? I got a whole bunch of like random stuff from my mom. This is kind of just all funny stuff. Like she got me like stuff for my shower. She got me a really amazing like bath caddy thing. Like one of those bamboo but it's black uh, bath caddies that you can spread across your bathtub and you can like prop your book up on it, you can have your glass of wine or anything like that. It's really, really cool. I've actually been looking into getting one of those for a while. So one of these days when I'm taking a bath, we'll have to show it to you. And then she got me a whole bunch of kitchen stuff, like towels and like tablets, like a whole bunch of very reasonable things, like bed sheets. So like, thank you mom for supplying my house with all the things that a normal adult house should have. But last and most definitely not least, my mom actually got this finally in the mail and she framed it for me and I was just so excited and it's going to be my degree. So that was really exciting. I honestly have had the hardest time waiting for this because th they were taking forever and even though I would graduated a while ago they hadn't you know officially put it down in the books yet and now I'm finally official and I'm like super graduated and stuff and my mom got me a frame and she framed it and she surprised me with it because I didn't know obviously that she'd finally gotten it in the mail. I feel like that's just about it. And my mom also got me these really cool like wireless chargers. It's a two pack. So we'll see how these actually work because I've never used a wireless charger. I know that they don't work as well as normal chargers. That is just a fact. They can't work at the same capacity as a normal charger yet. But this will be like a really handy thing to have on your desk or on my desk and to just be able to put my phone on whenever I'm like editing or doing something like that to just have them around the house. I think it would be really fun. So yeah, everything is a mess now. But I'm really glad that I finally got to show you like my birthday book haul, my birthday bookish haul. I just had such a good time. It was a very fun birthday and I'm happy that I got to share it with you guys as well. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. So I know I said this video is over, but then I was like, okay, I forgot to show this lanyard that I got in Disneyland and I might as well just show the t-shirts. I also forgot to show one other thing, so. You thought it was over, but it's not. The Gardens of the Galaxy t-shirt is this one that a ton of you guys are actually asking me about in my Instagram post. I got it outside of the Gardens of the Galaxy ride. So yeah, it just says Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. And it's like this super cool kind of like... Is it 90s or 80s inspired? The Darth Vader shirt that I was telling you guys about is this one. It's just one of those classic like angry, happy, sad, like that kind of style shirt, but it's all Darth Vader's face. So you can't tell. I always try and get little boy shirts. That sounds weird, but like I fit really well into the little boys extra large shirts or large shirts. This one was a large. And they just fit me like really perfectly. So they're cheaper and I fit in them nicely. So I get little boy shirts whenever I can. There's like little boy jerseys that fit me really well. My basketball jersey is a boys, a youth boys jersey. That's, we're getting off topic, but like the next thing is my lanyard. Whenever I'm in Disneyland, I used to always get lanyards, but the last few times that I've gone, I just haven't found one that like rang out to me. But this one was perfect. I'm pretty sure it's Mulan inspired and I couldn't find it anywhere else in the park if you want to get it and you're near Disneyland. Uh, the only place that I saw this was inside of the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop. It's the only place they were selling this, which is super cool. It's like Mulan-ish, I'm pretty sure, because it has the dragon just kind of circling around and it didn't say anything on the actual lanyard, it was just there. And then it has a super cool like red rubber Disneyland resorts. I just really love their lanyards. They're really high quality. I like that you can kind of unclasp them if you need to. So 
fun fact about me. That's another thing that I like to get in Disneyland. And then lastly, the thing that I forgot to show you guys was I got a ton of stickers from Redbubble. This was a more recent purchase, but I consider it a birthday purchase because eventually I'm going to be getting a new Hydro Flask and I knew I would need new stickers for that. I got some like really funny ones, but I got so many because I actually just kind of bulk ordered because I knew I wanted to maybe be putting some stickers in my bullet journal. As time went on, I'm really not sure but I got them anyways just in case. This one's actually my favorite and I love that it was like in the front. They're double, like so this isn't, this isn't one sticker, it's two. But this says, I may be a Virgo, but my life's a mess. Oh, this one's also a favorite. <laughs> so good news, I saw a dog today. <laughs> Every single person I say that to laughs because that is exactly a text that I send them. They're like, that's even how you send it. And I'm like, it's good news. Obviously right next to that is Stitch and Toothless dressed up as each other. I love it. I'm not going to show you all the stickers because that would take forever, but like Kiki and an Astro Vars sticker. I have a Prithian sticker, Van Gogh, a Van Gogh Kiki sticker, a little Zodiac one, Game of Thrones. Oh my god, these are my favorites. I'm not linking all the artists down below, guys. I'm sorry. I really just don't remember who I got it from and it would take a lot of time, but this is Resand with kitty cats. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute! And then he's up here, like he's holding one! Isn't that adorable? I love it. Got a few Never Night stickers because, of course, some Totoro, Six of Crows, Mother of Cats, classic. Lots of Jude and Cardon ones, lots of black kitties, lots of kitties in general. This one says, Live Your Dreams. And he's dreaming about himself sleeping. He's living his dreams. I. I love that for him. And this one's a dog and a kitty cuddling because obviously I love dogs and cats, so I love that so much. A Slytherin sticker, Toothless, a little Hello Princeling, Hello Witchling action, a Manon sticker, Avatar and a Pokeball, some more Avatar stickers, some more Stitch stickers because this is the Stitch sticker that I actually have on my Hydro Flask right now and I knew that if I got a new Hydro Flask I would probably want to put this one on it because it's one of my favorite stickers that I've ever gotten and this one's Toothless and Stitch riding on him. I like how I said I wasn't going to show you all of them and then I kind of just like sped. Sorry I didn't really show it to you but like this is the stickers. Now that's officially it. That's officially all the stuff that I got in and around my birthday. Thanks for watching. Love you.